Hey guys, SSF here with a video I have not recorded in a long time because, well, guess what? I haven't recorded anything in a long time. But, you know, whatever, I guess. It's been holidays stuff. <laughs> but anyway, so what game is this? You might be asking. Well, this is a game called Plague Inc. Evolved, and what it pretty much is, well, I'll explain when we actually get to the game, but it's a game that has a uh, section for not actually what I'm looking for. A section for uh, uh, scenarios, custom scenarios that players can create on their own via the Steam Workshop. Now, the object of Plague Inc. Evolved is pretty much to infect all of humanity in the world and kill them off. I'm not even kidding. Why? How are you doing that? Well, the name pretty much implies it, but you are a plague or a germ or whatever and you're trying to infect the whole world and killing humanity and making them extinct and whatever and there are a couple of uh, uh, exceptions to this like for example uh, the Nerax worm makes you uh, have the capability of controlling humanity and making them a slave race go figure or you could go with the uh, what was the name of it uh, crap the uh, what was the name of the zombie one let me check because I've already done all the, uh... Necrovirus, that's what it was. I've already done all the viruses on, uh... The plagues on, uh... Mega Brutal, so that's done. Uh, but there are custom scenarios as well as official scenarios, which is essentially, uh... Where you experiment with real-life diseases and altered worlds. Essentially, it's a little bit more realistic, so to speak. Uh... Now, though the custom scenarios are different, whereas... You have the, uh... Player-generated scenarios, ones that players create, but there's one particular scenario that caught my interest like a week or two, I think it was a couple weeks or so ago, gotta see if it actually comes up, and it's the reason why I'm actually playing this right now, that's right, someone created a freaking Sonic virus, and Plague Inc. evolved, I'm not even kidding, and the amazing thing is it's got four stars, why? Well, you'll see in a moment, but uh, basically the premise is Sonic the Hedgehog has become an iconic figure in the modern world. Scientists believe that he is a key to eternal life. I don't know why he would be the key to eternal life, but hey, you know. Attempts to recreate Sonic's abilities became successful, but dangerous side effects voided the project. The virus escaped from a lab, recently, unknown to the world. What happens next is not on everyone's wish list. After seeing the results of the second news headline competition and finding my headline amongst the winners it inspired me to create the scenario. He's pretty much talking about what the scenario is like. And of course he gives credit to Sega. You know, you can find this on Steam. Uh, it, it's The author is CoolZ101, according to here. I can barely see it because the red... T uh, the text color is dark red and it's kind of difficult to see with how small it is. But uh, he just says, goes on to say, Sega owns Sonic and all its IP, and no copyright infringement is, in, is intended at all, and this isn't affiliated with Sega, etc., etc. But let's actually play this, because, well, you never know what it's going to be like. It's bacteria. Um, I thought you would think it would be a virus, but you know. Uh, you can see all the stuff here. Genetic codes. Essentially what genes do is you have to unlock them with every win. And for certain viruses like the simian flu and the uh, necrovirus and the nerax worm, you have to get win uh, a game with those res uh, respective uh, plagues to unlock their exclusive uh, genes for them, DNA genes. Uh, I'll explain more about what these are all like. What these are all about, like why are they talking about deep getting bonus DNA and you know getting harder to cure and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, and but uh, I think. I think I'm going to go with. Hmm. I, mean, I don't see an issue with this. Uh, I guess that's fine. That's fine. Uh. I'm not sure if I'd want to be in bonus DNA in the beginning, but let's go with it anyway. So, name your plague Sonic Fever. Fever. You can name your plague however you want. I'm going to be naming it. Hmm. What am I going to be naming it? I got it. 
Why not, you know? Anyway, Sonic becomes a world icon. Sonic the Hedgehog is a big icon. The world is in love with him and is announced the and is announced the world's icon. One can only dream, huh? Scientists believe that Sonic is the key to saving humanity from Earth. Well, <laughs> humanity from Earth. Humanity from death. Uh, in, in believing this, scientists have attempted to recreate his abilities. Not everything went to plan, unfortunately. So where am I going to start at? Uh, Sonic Fever escaped, scientists became successful, but the project produced dangerous side effects. The project was later abandoned. Because of this, the virus managed to escape... It says manged, but it's actually managed... To escape and is now out of the opening, uh, open world. Will, will everyone fall to Sonic Fever? Or is there something about the side effects of this virus? Well, let's find out. So, the whole point of this game, like I said earlier, is pretty much causing a world apocalypse. Pretty much. Uh, and you can start wherever you want. It's entirely up to you exactly where you want to start this thing. Uh, how you, where you start it, I highly recommend, before you do, you keep in mind the ports that are open. Like, like for example, the US has two, like a uh, airport here that goes everywhere and a port for boats Greenland however does not have any airports and only has a port at the very bottom here now that really does tie into how this is gonna spread however you want to start I would recommend starting in an area that has a lot of people so it'll get around a lot quicker and you know it, in it'll have something to adapt to like for example this will be more used to if you look down at the bottom, it tells you what India's population is. Uh, that they have open borders, they have uh, uh, ports, and they have an airport. Uh, port being for boats, of course. And as you can see, they have... Uh, they're wet. Uh, looks like they're hot. And they're rural. So, we're going to start in India. There we go. Now because of my DNA, the, the bonus DNA gene at the start, I actually start with 10. Now as you can see, this is where... Actually, let me pause it real quick so you can guys see what's going on. Up here is going to be your news headlines. And you want to keep a very close eye on this because you're going to get some very important information. Like what governments are doing to uh, combat your disease and all. Down here, of course, is the amount of infected and the amount of people dead. You're also going to want to keep your eyes on this as well. Up here is the date uh, of the uh, scenario, and how quickly you can accelerate and go through space time or whatever by going quickly as this, you can go super fast, occasionally get yellow DNA bubbles by the way that you can pop, uh, or you can just go normal speed. So there's normal, super fast, and gotta go fast. It would be kind of interesting to go gotta go fast speed, but for the sake of kind of showing things off better, uh, I won't do that. So at the bottom right you see there is a world section. This is telling you about the cure. This is going to be your main... Uh, this is pretty much going to be your main obstacle here. Is how fast humanity combats the disease and cures you. And pretty much heals everyone as a result. Uh, this is as I said your DNA points. And what your DNA points do is they go for this. As you can see, this is your transmission section. This basically tells you uh, how qu it basically makes it so. What do you want your disease to adapt to to make it so it infects people quicker? You have abilities over here, which basically makes it so. Okay, what is it that your virus can do uh, to adapt, like uh, to become immune to, like medicines, uh, heat, cold, you know? Basically, the like, what can your virus adapt to? Uh, the symptoms, however, are probably going to be your main... Uh, between the abilities and the symptoms, your symptoms are probably the one you're going to spending, be spending the most on, because those will have the most effects on humanity later on, and can also affect how much they infect people as well. And they are pretty much what they are, you know, you get new symptoms to you know, do stuff, but the thing is that the more symptoms you add on, the more it gets severe. And the more severe your pathogen is, the more humanity is going to catch on and do something about your uh, disease. You can also see on the left, there is a bar called inf uh, infectivity. That's essentially telling you how much you are uh, infectious. 
how much quickly you can uh, infect people, and on the right is how lethal your pathogen is, how quickly you're going to kill people, you know, with your uh, disease. Uh, games like this is just weird, but this scenario as a whole is just strange. I will get to in a moment why it's strange. You can probably guess why it's so unique, just judging by the icons. But I am going to go ahead and put my DNA points on air. That's essentially what you do, you just evolve it from down here. You can also refund it for two if you want to, but I wouldn't uh, recommend it just yet. I mean, it helps for getting those extra DNA points, especially down in the line. Eventually, your symptoms are going to start evolving on their own. Now, wait a second. Can I actually... I think I can exploit this. Yes, I can. I can exploit this. Hang on. I like where this is going. I'm... <laughs> this is cheap, but... You know, this isn't exactly how you're supposed to play it. But I didn't even realize that you could do this. Anyway, um... So you have water 1. Which is 10 DNA points. You get air in 2, which is pretty nice. Uh... I would go for water 2 since it looks more infectious. Keep in mind, if you want to infect people, make sure you keep in mind on the bottom, this pink bar, for this. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and do this. You're going to find out later on down the line what this is. I'm only going to do this for the first diseases here. Here we go. So extreme biosol, like, it's like I said, this pretty much makes it how quickly your virus is going to spread and all, how, what can make it transfer and all. Like for example, the air, for air 1, the virus gains the ability to travel on dust particles, increase infectivity, especially in arid environments and plane transmission. You really want to make sure you read these because they will tell you things that uh, may very well help the thing spread. However, there might be catches, you know, there might be things that make it mutate more or increase the research speed that the uh, humans do to make the virus, uh, to cure the virus quicker. For water, uh, for water 1, however, Making sure that this is recording properly, and it is. I should probably should have done that at the start, but whatever. Uh, the virus can survive outside the body in fresh, warm water, increase inf infectivity, especially in humid environments, and ship transmission. Trust me, you want to get those. Uh, soon we're going to be getting drug resistance. That's going to be the next thing we're going to target. Uh, the virus becomes resistant to class 1 and 2 antibiotics, increase infe uh, effectiveness in wealthy countries. There's a lot to keep track of, but there's also the World Hub, which you can check. Uh, as you can see, we've only infected India so far, but down here, is, in the left, is where you can uh, see what countries you've infected, which ones are still healthy, uh, and which ones have been just completely destroyed. Um, as you can see, pretty much all the stuff you need to know. Um, this is all the cure information, telling you uh, who's researching the cure, how long it'll take before they... Uh, figure it out, like how long before they'll take to the, have a 100% cure, and then all the, you know, closed ports and stuff, because eventually they're going to start uh, doing that stuff to limit the spread of it. If you're quick enough, though, you can kind of stealthily uh, avoid that, but, uh, but yeah, that's pretty much everything you need to know, but now I'm going to go ahead and I'll just go, I think I'm going to speed it up just a bit, because it's going to go slowly otherwise. And gradually you'll get disease you know, the DNA points on your own. Now I have enough to go for Drug Resistance 1. Now the next thing I'm going to go is probably... Hmm... Probably Cold Resistance, because by starting down here in the hot environment, that means you're going to be more difficult to evolve in cold environments, so you want to... cold climates, so you want to get that, so you'll, your disease will have an easier time in the uh, northern countries. Because remember, your whole point is to infect everyone. So even those up here, you can see the news section up here. I wonder if the uh, news... I never noticed the uh, news... Like, are the, the uh, news headlines any different from uh, for custom scenarios? doesn't look that way. By the way, you'll get a lot of uh, custom... Uh, not custom, but uh, references here. And we've already spread. The red bubbles mean you have spread to a new country. So, you want to get rid of those, you know, pop them, because you'll get DNA points. Uh, I think... Do I want to go for cold resistance too? 
sure, why not? Go for it. You can see it's spreading very fast because of the air and water transmissions I got. But because I don't have any symptoms, it's going to pretty much get through it, hopefully without much uh, issue here. So I'm going to go over to transmission, and I think I'm going to get extreme bio aerosol, so that way it's pretty much good to go. It'll have little trouble uh, passing through ships and planes and all. So it's going to start spreading pretty damn quickly here. Yes, if you can believe it or not, Sonic is, Sonic's abilities are a virus. No, don't ask why. This is Plague Evolved. It, like, it's it's weird. But, um... Okay, my antivirus software put me... Yeah, I, the CPU uses in that. Uh, Green Tech firm claims to have developed a power station that runs entirely on laughter and joy. Denies reports on oil barrels, barrels nearby. Nothing much for that. Uh, whoop. I saw that bubble. Nope. Yeah, look how quickly it's spreading because of the uh, transmissions I added onto it. But anyway, now we're going to go towards... I think we're going to go towards... I think I'll get heat resistance, just so... just in case. Because sometimes Africa will be a little bit stubborn and not spread that quickly. But now we go to the transmissions over here, I think. I want to just show off what they are. I think... I'm, I'm not, I, I don't know if I'm going to go for them. But it's quite interesting. Normally you get them by birds and rodents and insects. But for the Sonic custom scenario, you have hedgehogs, you have echidnas, and you have foxes. Don't ask. Uh, for hedgehogs, you see hedgehogs become a carrier of the virus, increases land transmission, also increases mutation. Those are the catches I warn you about. Echidnas become carriers of the virus, increases effectiveness in humid climates, and increases mutation. Foxes become carriers of the, of the virus, increases effectiveness in rural areas and arid climates, also increases mutation. And if that's not enough, you have jewelry and rings. Jewelry, well, expensive jewelry absorb the virus and can transmit it to human skin, increases effectiveness in wealthy areas slightly. Rings, golden rings, absorb the virus and release it when human contact occurs. Slightly increases effectiveness in wealthy areas. Now, it's going to be more interesting when we get to the symptoms, though, because hair growth. The virus stimulates growth hormones, causing extreme hair growth on the body, except for the chest, paw, jaw, and ears. It eventually turns to fur, which is very noticeable. So we're not going for that just yet. But oh my god, was it... When I read that the first time when I tried this, I, w I just thought, really? <laughs> okay then. We won't go for that just yet though. Won't go for that just yet. Speaking of which, it just mutated, so... I'm gonna refund there. Okay. Now what I'm doing is stealthily making the world... Uh, letting the world get infected. They don't notice it yet because there's no symptoms that would make them notice it. So, it's kind of sneaking its way through. So, it's just going to let it do its thing for now. It infected Greenland, which is really nice. You want to make sure you get all the island nations. Because if you don't, they're going to... You're going to learn the hard way that they're not exactly going to be, uh... Fond of you. <laughs> because it's just how little ports they have. How few, you know... Humans actually go there through, uh... Airports and you know, boats, but you can see very quickly everyone's getting it. Like, everyone's getting this thing. So, uh, keep your eyes peeled. It's got the hair growth symptom again. I don't want that just yet. It's mutating more, so... Things get more interesting, interesting with the symptoms as we go, I assure you. This is probably the most weirdest Sonic mod content, fan mod content I've ever seen. But, um, as you can see, it's spreading not that quickly for some countries. Like, for Canada, it's still kind of getting off the, you know, getting off the ground. But I think we've infected everyone. Yes, we've had. Yes, we have. So everyone is now infected, which means now you should see things begin to pick up really quickly here. I'm going to watch this as we go. Um... 
Make sure you pop the uh, yellow and red DNA bubbles because trust me when I say this, you are really going to want to uh, get that extra DNA for uh, more abilities and stuff to make it so your virus can upgrade and do things it couldn't do previously. And, and it will very much uh, make or break your game. Trust me on that. So we've almost infected everyone with the Sonic Fever virus thing. Um, just going to wait and see how things go here. Should be any moment now, and everyone will be like every single living person should be infected. And that's when we're going to start moving over to the uh, symptoms. Yep, everyone's now infected. So now the fun begins. And as you see, Bounce Pad has not been noticed yet. So now the fun begins. Now that everyone's been infected, I can go back on these DNA uh, points here because, well, for certain plagues you can ref get refunds for devolving. Uh, for others you can get a... Uh, you have to spend DNA points, so those you wouldn't want to devolve. But for this, I can devolve because it gives me two DNA points back. But now we get to the fun part, which is the symptoms. This is the part that's just beautiful. So, we know about the hair growth, we're going to get that. But now we get to the fun part. Gloves and shoes. The hands and feet become very sensitive to light, forcing infected to wear white gloves on their hands and shoes with a red fill or stripes on their feet. Yes. They're going to be wearing the Sonic gloves and shoes. Not even kidding. Now we get another one. Another symptom. Jaw muscle deformity. Infected's mouth and jaw area begins to deform and enlarge, allowing for huge smiles on the left and right sides. This renders the mouth movable, which frightens others. So in other words, they pretty much get just mouths on the left and right sides. Not even kidding on that. Now we get another one unlocked, nose and eye deformities. The nose bone structure de dissolves, forming into a pointed nose. The eye sockets enlarge, causing the eyes to enlarge and fill it. They all sit just above the jaw. And then we get another one, ear deformity. The ears deform and reposition themselves onto the top of the skull. They become triangular shaped. In fact, they begin to look like Sonic the Hedgehog characters. Yes, we're making them all become Sonic characters. We evolve this, however, and new stuff becomes unlocked. You have quills, and you have orange-yellow fur. So, we have quills. People's hair begin to take the shape of spiked quills. The quills fall behind the infected's head and are large in size. Then we get more here. Black and red fur. Infected fur begins to change to black while adding some red to their quills. The quills slightly spike upwards. This makes them look like Shadow the Hedgehog. Then we can get another one. Blue fur. Infected fur begins to change to a deep blue color, giving them the full look of Sonic the Hedgehog. And you can get more down here. We're going to go with the pink fur female. You can guess what this is going to go. Infected females' fur begins to change to a light pink. This causes to give them the look of Amy Rose. <laughs> Not even kidding. Additional features. Infected's eye color begins... Uh, Infected's eye color changed to an emerald green. A red hairband is worn and the quills fall to the side with a few growing on their forehead. Rings attached to wrists. And now we get to the point where people just become completely Amy up to the point where the personality reflects this. Infected personality changed to match Amy Rose. Cheerful, slightly erratic, positive, full of energy. She has a scary temper and is obsessed with Sonic. We get that. And now they develop a Pico Pico hammer. Amy wields a newly made Pico Pico hammer. It's gigantic in size and works great for wiping out enemies. Her obsession over Sonic can lead to the death of others. In other words, this is how we're killing people. It's with a Pico Pico hammer, and this is the lethality taking a hold. And if you look closely, she actually has her uh, Chronicles art there. Uh, I wonder if I can 
get away with evolving devolving this. Yes, I can. I'm not. I'm not even spending anything here. So let me quickly. To be fair, I want to show off everything that this virus can do. So I'm sure he'll see this, and the guy who created this will see this, and will be like, "Okay, I need to, you know, not make it so they can do this kind of thing." Let me get up to 250 here. It's not like I, I'm going to get anything out of this anyway. But uh, let's see. Additional features: Sonic infected eyes color changes to an emerald green. A tail is grown and two additional squills on their back is grown. Their shoes gets a white stripe and a gold buckle. I don't know why that ends up... They generate that, but anyway. Sonic Anthropomorphism. Infected's personality changes to suit Sonic the Hedgehog's character. A strong sense of justice, compassion, heart of gold, and a love for adventure and freedom. You can best believe that if there's Sonic characters showing up... That, oh, there's another one. That, I didn't even know that tree was there. Oh, well, that's going to be fun. Um, <laughs> I'm going to like the side of this. Um, and a love for adventure and freedom. So you can best believe if there's Amy now around, uh, going after Sonic, and Sonic's now in, in the uh, area, yeah. Sonic Shadow Spin. Infected gain the ability to cur curl into a ball and spin, uh, usable by both Sonic and Shadow. Speeds can be high, but become hard to come to a complete stop. We'll get to that in a moment. You can see they're starting to cost a bit. Uh, additional traits shadow. Infected's eye color changes to red. A tail and two additional quills on their back are grown. A patch of white fur appears on the chest and rings attached to the ankles. Okay, these just sound like so gruesome thinking all these transformations. Like, God, I can only imagine how painful these all must be. <laughs> Sheesh. Uh, shadow anthropomorphism. Infected's personality changes to match Shadow the Hedgehog. Sharp-witted. Always on edge, a strong sense of purpose, willing to achieve gold by any means. Okay, we go down to here, now we get something else. Inhibitor rings. Shadow gains inhibitor rings that attach to his wrists. They limit the po his power, but decrease his risk of overexerting himself. There you go. We get this, and a new ability unlocks, Super Speed Trauma. Infected can run as fast as Sonic and skate as fast as Shadow, but attempts to do so leads to an instant trauma. High amounts of G-Force can even result in instant death. In other words, people are f uh, screwing themselves over because they can't control their speed. Let's see what the Sonic and Shadow Spin thing does. Gives us this, Skull Strengthening. Infected skull strengthens, enabling it to withstand high speeds and G-Force. This gives Infected the ability to create a sonic boom and parkour at high speed. Okay. And then we'll get this, the super speed trauma. So that's pretty much everything on the right left side. Let's go to the right side real quick. The orange and yellow fur. Infected's fur changes to an orange-yellow color. This gives him the look of miles to tails per hour, but it's an incomplete form. Red fur. Infected's fur changes to a red color. This gives him the look of Knuckles the Echidna. Dreadlocks and extra features. Infected's hair forms into long spiked dreadlocks, making the ears non-visible. Their eye color changes to a light blue purple. A spiked tail is grown as well. Oh boy. Uh, foxtails and extra features. Infected grows two foxtails. White fur grows on the jaw, mouth area, and on the chest. Their eye color changes to a blue. Uh, their eye color changes to a blue. Three additional hairs grow on the forehead. Bangs, essentially. Now we can make p some people turn into kn knuckles and tails. Tails anthropomorphism. Infected personality changes to match tails. Gentle and sweet natured, an outgoing, brave, and independent individual. After e meeting Sonic, he is young, eight years old. Oh boy, we just got something legal there. And the Knuckles infected personality morphs to suit Knuckles the Echidna. Independent, headstrong, serious yet gullible and short-tempered. Knuckles is also fully devoted to duty. There you go. We just got two more. Chaos Gun. Tails creates a weapon that shoots out a blast of chaos energy exploding on impact. This weapon can cause instant death to humans. Okay then. Strength Spike. Knuckles' fist grows two spikes and his strength levels increase, giving him the ability to lift heavy objects humans usually can't lift. His punches can be lethal. Ok, 
Okay. I'm wondering what this... There's another ability down here that I see that I could potentially get here. I don't think I can get it yet, though. Um, peace. Every infected character feels a sudden urge of peace, causing them to seize any attacks. The characters become the world's protectors. <laughs> this will win the scenario. Okay. Eggman minions. Infected that have become a Sonic character mistaken regular people infected for Eggman's minions. <laughs> The resultant attacks can be lethal. Oh my god. Homing attack. The Sonic characters can use a homing attack on anything and anyone. High speed impacts can kill targets instantly. Oh boy. And as far as I know, I think that's everything. Unless these other abilities are because of the uh, transmission and stuff. So I think it probably would be wise to uh, start going for those. Let's see. Jewelry for rings. Modern rings absorb the virus and release it within yada yada. Get these. The virus can sur survive on surfaces for long periods of time. You know, see if the symptoms reflect this. Doesn't look that way. I don't want the, want the scenario to be one just yet because I want to show you guys the custom events that tend to crop up. Let's see if I can get all of these. Uh, is there anything... Wasn't there something that gave me zero? Yeah, there you go. So... Let's quickly... So this is a lot that the game has to keep track of. I have a feeling the piece one has something to do with the final four that you can't get just yet, but I think it also has something to do with the, uh, because sometimes they make it so the transmissions and abilities can unlock, once you get more of those, you can unlock more symptoms and stuff. So I want to see what happens when I unlock more transmissions and abilities here. Because those can, yeah, look at the abilities. Green Chaos Emerald. The Green Chaos Emerald appears in the modern world. The location it appears in is random, and it releases chaos energy when appearing, releasing the virus. That's interesting. So you do get special abilities for this. The White Chaos Emerald. The Yellow Chaos Emerald, even though it's blue for some reason. Uh, oh, it's just... Okay, Red Chaos Emerald. Cyan Chaos Emerald. And Purple Chaos Emerald. The Blue Chaos Emerald. Oh boy. Super transformation. They even added super transformation into this. This is so creative. I love it. Uh, Sonic and Shadow can access their super forms, granting them more power than their regular forms. High amounts of chaos energy slows down cure research. Then we have more. Green Super Emerald. Oh god, they even added the Super Emeralds. Are you serious? The Green Super Emerald appears in the modern world. The location it appears in is random. And it, okay, so... We can add the Super Emeralds as well, if we want to. Oh my god, this is so creative. I love it. Okay, I definitely want to see what else is in this. This is... I want to get everything in this now. This is so detailed, and I love it. So, let's go ahead and get it. Oh, I just noticed there's another ability now. Uh, another symptom here. Let's see what we got here. Chaos Spear. Shadow can shoot a single shot of en chaos energy that explodes on impact. The shot can obliterate objects and can kill humans instantly. Let's get that. Chaos Blast. When Shadow's inhibitor rings are removed, he can perform Chaos Blast. I don't think he needs to remove his inhibitor rings to perform that, though. Uh, a powerful explosion of chaos energy. This is very lethal to humans and can overexert Shadow. Okay. So just like that, we just got even more abilities. Makes me wonder if there's even more. Yes, there is. Look. There's an ability right here. Chaos Control. With one Chaos Emerald, Shadow is able to use Chaos Control. The fabric of space and time can be manipulated. This can be used for combat, which can be lethal. And we got another one. Warp Death. Infected can't handle the effects of Chaos Control, causing them to collapse and die instantly after using it. Wow. Okay, then. That is... Wow. Wow. I have a sneaking suspicion that this isn't all, though. Let's see, was this... is this, uh... okay, we got that. Did we get 
that. Oh, we didn't get that yet. I didn't even notice that was there. Flying tails. Tails can fly using his two fox tails. This, incre this can inc decrease the amount of plane travel, but increases air transmission. We don't need to worry about that anymore now, do we? Extreme heights. Infected that infected that fly like tails suddenly lose their ability, so causing them to fall from high altitudes, causing catastrophic deaths, even flattening, flattening victims. Ouch. So, don't want to get peace just yet. Because obviously that will win the scenario. And we don't want to do that just yet. Because I want to show you guys just what the hell happens with the custom events. I don't know if I'm gonna, you're going to see all of them though. Because of how quickly everyone's going to just drop down. You know. So, we'll see shortly though. I'm gonna get, I want to get up to uh, 100 DNA here. Okay, abilities, so let's see what all the other Super Emeralds do. Red Super Emerald, Cyan Super Emerald, Purple Super Emerald, Blue Super Emerald. Oh boy. Master Emerald! The Master Emerald appears, creating a floating island. Huge amounts of Chaos Energy is released, releasing the virus to everywhere else. Oh my god. A Hyper Transformation. Sonic can access his Hyper Form, granting him extreme power. The extreme amount of chaos energy significantly slows down recreate research and can render Sonic invincible. Wow. Uh, did we gain any other abilities from that? I don't think we did. Doesn't look like that. Doesn't look like we gained anything else. Does Evolve do anything? No. So I want to see if there's anything else. Provided the game doesn't do a little fit there like it was doing. I have a sneaking suspicion there's more to this. Yeah, hyper transformation, let's get that. And just like that, oh boy, I can only imagine what the symptoms are now. Uh, doesn't look like anything new there. Uh, I am amazed at how creative and detailed this is. This is absolutely insane absolutely insane like I can't get over that wait did we get this yes we did okay I wanted to make sure of that because I didn't but yeah it's looking absolutely crazy you know, I don't even think I don't even think we got to the point where, uh... Meh. I, I want to see if there's anything else, because it feels like there's more to this. There's definitely some room here. Let's see here. Did I drop any frames? No, I did not drop any frames. Cool. Uh, get you. Get you. Apparently I still don't have enough for this. <laughs> I'm trying to speed this up now. I think we've seen everything at this point. I don't want to get the peace one just yet, though. I do not want to get the peace one just yet, because I want to see what happens. Otherwise. Oh, I can just hit the uh, enter button. It'll work that way. Interesting. Didn't even know that. There we go. 100 DNA points again. Get you. Uh, okay. So any new symptoms from that? Doesn't look that way. I don't think we even got anything out of that, to be quite honest. Uh, so it's just 8 for that. So keep this going, but yes, guys, playing Evolve is very fun. I mean, it it doesn't seem like I'm showing it off to its full effectiveness, but keep in mind this is just a custom Sonic scenario. So there, there's definitely more to this. I will also provide a link to the uh, the uh, custom scenario, 
So if you guys want to try it out, you can um, do so. You have to subscribe to it if you want the thing to download on your Steam, however. And make sure you do have Plague Inc. Evolved as well. Uh, because, well, it's a good game and you kind of can't get a subscribe to something that you don't have, you know? I wouldn't recommend it, just saying. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, but I want to see what happens when I get... Looks like I may have maxed out everything at the rates this is going. No real point in getting... There's really no point in uh, getting the uh, ability stuff, but it doesn't seem to me like there's anything else I'm missing here. All the trans transmissions are, have been achieved, all the symptoms have been achieved. It's really just the abilities, but I don't really see what the abilities would even warrant, to be quite honest. I mean, we'll keep things going in case I miss some things. Because, I won't lie, you can easily have uh, stuff show up late, you know. So, I'm just gonna beef up everything here. Okay. So... Boy, everything's so expensive, isn't it? Okay. Keep this going. So, no doubt about it, uh, no doubt about it, this will be a win. I'm quite curious to see what, uh, how this goes, but... I'm quite curious to see how this will end, because, my god, is this... This is so creative, and I love it. I just love it, how creative this is. It just, it does not leave anything unturned, you know? Doesn't look like there's that much else, though, on the horizon, so... I mean, I'll keep my eyes peeled, but this is a lot of symptoms. A lot of symptoms. So, we'll see how things go, but... Oh yeah. Go ahead and keep this up. Okay. So Billy's has a lot of points. I think we are getting to the point, though, where we've pretty much gotten everything, though. It doesn't look like there's anything else. So, keep going. Getting, uh, more DNA points. Uh, it's gonna get to the point where you don't even really need any more DNA points. To be quite frank. Um. Go ahead and keep going. Get another hundred or so. That should be enough to at least get a couple more abilities. A couple, anyway. Uh, oh, jeez. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go for just a bit longer, because that's a lot. I think I need 150 for this. So let me quick, quickly uh, bump up to 150 here. DNA points. And then we'll keep going from there, so... This seems cheap, but trust me when I say this, uh, I'm only showing this all, doing this so you guys can actually see, you know, everything this scenario has to offer, so... There we go, and that is everything. That, I believe, has unlocked everything. Uh, yep, I can't get anything else, so... So it seems to me, it seems to me that uh, you unlock the capabilities to get emeralds as soon as someone turns into a Sonic character. 
Like, as soon as you start getting Sonic characters, I suppose, or they start turning into Sonic Hedgehog-like characters, then the abilities for the Emeralds show up, or whatever. Or something. I, and I guess these don't unlock until you have people looking like Sonic and Shadow, or something? And then, I suppose, and then all these special abilities don't show up until you've evolved everyone into people into Sonic and Shadow like characters as well. Um, but yeah, I don't see anything else that I haven't gotten yet. So I think we are good to go. So let's see all this shit go down, shall we? Oh, or the peace music symptom could mutate. Let's uh, devolve that. Might do that a lot, by the way. So people are going to start dying from all this. New worrying disease spreading. The, the diagnostic team uh, named Balance Pad. Okay. Let's let things go on. Argentina starts fox extermination campaign. <laughs> Look at that. Look at how many are already. Whew. Sonic the Hedgehog of figures appear. Bounce Pad is causing its victims to look like Sonic the Hedgehog characters. People rush to take photos with these figures. Scientists are frightened that their projects escape and are warning people to stay away. The public isn't taking any notice of them. So, you know, I wonder if I can save this. Hang on. Can I save this? I want to save it right here and just see how things go. And then we can do both, like, people, everyone getting killed, and then everyone, uh, at peace. And I want to see the both, I want to see both of those. Yeah, I want to see both of these, uh, abilities here. So let's see. Look at how many people are dying, though. Son Sonic the Hedgehog successfully created. Okay, I want to see what, uh, all these news stories then. Germany exterminates all hedgehogs. Ouch. Uh, okay. It's just everyone doing their best to try to stop the thing, but it's a little too late now, you know? Sonic the Hedgehog has finally become a reality. Evolve his abilities and he'll become more of a reality. The only question is, will you kill everyone, or will you manage to unlock the power of chaos? It's your choice. Keep playing to find out more. Sonic the Hedgehog figures appear. Oh, there's that symptom again. <laughs> there's that black symptom again. Leave it to me, Sonic. Uh, <laughs> appear in public. Let's see. Okay. So it doesn't look like anything new here. There are so many kittens too. So let's see if we get anything else that's showing up. Shadow the Hedgehog lives. Shadow the Hedgehog is now among humans. With a more dark personality, will you master the power of chaos and destroy humanity? Evolve his abilities to strengthen him and uncover his sinister side. Or you can preserve humanity. It's your choice. So, it definitely seems to me like only the big events. Shadow the Hedgehog exists in the real world. <laughs> so it seems to me... Uh... Yeah... Look at, all the, look at all the deaths. Amy Rose becomes a reality. Amy Rose has become real, striking fear to the hearts of infected males. While every girl wants to be like Amy, the main men run in fear, evolving her abilities to see what Amy can do. Oh, and don't let her near Sonic, she is very obsessed. Sounds like there's going to be an Amy Rose-Sonic combo here. From the sounds of it. Hopefully I'll give it enough time to actually show that off. Knuckles the Akinda popular in boxing. Knuckles the Echidna has emerged into the real world and has become a popular boxing icon. Knuckle evolve his abilities to show his true strength. Will the world die for Knuckles? It's your choice. I think Tails is the last one. But I don't even think we're going to be able to see that. I don't even think we're going to see that because of the, uh... Everyone dying so fast. Everyone just dying so damn fast. I mean, we'll see, but... Oh boy. Tails becomes a lovable child. Tails is emerging, emerging in amongst children and has become a lovable character. Tails doesn't seem deadly, or is he? He hasn't got strength or speed, but he has got the skills of mechanic. What kind of contraptions will you create? Beats me. 
So what now? Now all the characters have showed up. Like, showed quote unquote showed up. Uh, do you get anything after that? That's what I want to know. That's what I want to know. It doesn't seem that way. It does not seem to me. Uh, governance is starting to fall now. Uh, by the way, you can see the cure down here. Um, normally, it will get to the point where people are so dedicated to the cure that you have to pop blue, blue bubbles and all that. And, and then it gets to the point where people start dying so much that they can't actually... The cure slows down and all. And also, I do not think there's anything else in that other than that. I don't think there's any combos after all. Go figure. I think we'll see what happens when I go for peace. You know, give it a bit for the ability to show up again, but hit the peace, allow the peace symptom to uh, mutate or whatever. Yeah, look, look at that. Look at that. Everyone's going down. <laughs> it's the apocalypse, I tell you. It's Booms Day. Yes, I went there. Uh, bounce pad has successfully eliminated all life on Earth. There you go. So let's watch this actually go down. Like, let's see this all go down normally. Look at how much it's spreading already. <laughs> we'll do, redo it again, but this time, what we'll probably do... like, uh, Okay, I'm just making sure there's still no loss of frames um, but what we'll probably do is make it so the world ends up at peace and see what the results are because I'm quite curious about that yeah, as you see everything's just simmering around as everyone's as it's infecting everyone and then as everyone dies out so is you see that so there you go Definitely. Let's see, uh... Subscribed. So let's go back to this again. This time... We're gonna load the previous game. This time we'll see if there's anything else that, like... I don't think we gave it enough time for people to actually, like... You know, for any combos. If there were combos. I don't know if there were. But... <clears throat> see here. <clears throat> Does it work this way, actually? Now that I think about it. Okay, so... Piece of symptom mutated. Don't want it to mutate just yet. I want to see if we get any other, like, uh, any other combos here. I may, it may have gotten to the point where just everyone's so lethal now that you're not going to really see it. Also, I think, re like, uh... Also, I think because of the, uh... Restarting of, uh... Let's just let the peace symptom mutate. I don't think we were going to see anything new. World makes peace with Sonic. The whole world has made peace with the Sonic characters. Becoming more famous than ever, some have attempted to be like them. Some prefer to live their normal lives. With Sonic the Hedgehog and his friends protecting humanity, nothing can destroy the world. Victory. The world has made peace with Sonic the Hedgehog and his friends. Well then, that didn't take quite as long, but uh, yeah, I, I swear, there has to be combos, or symptom combos, I'd imagine, like the, like, like, uh, like I would imagine there would have to be, like, symptom combos with Sonic and Amy, where they're, like, Amy and Sonic are going at each other, whatever, and increases, like, uh, lethalness or infectivity, or whatever, um, Beats me. 
But yeah, that's pretty cool how they, uh... Pretty cool how that came to be. But yes, guys, that was the Sonic custom scenario. In uh, Plague Inc. Evolved, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Normal videos should return to my YouTube channel, you know, Sonic Sega Fan 1991, whatever, uh, soon. Uh, hopefully within the next couple of weeks or so. If not, if not within this month, definitely by next month. Uh, but yeah, this was a very, very weird yet creative mod content thing. But yeah, I will see you guys next time. But for now, sayonara, guys.